That's absolutely disgusting. Thank you for that. I, I mean, honestly, come on, man. It's just, you know what the sad part is, is I knew, I think they were doing that segment. It was probably 845. I was out and about. And I just knew. I knew there was no way that was going to go kind of by the wayside. I knew Roberto would get his grubby, grimy hands on that. And he probably enjoyed it, too. This is the first time we've seen him all day because he's been yeah. locked in his studio enjoying making this. It's true. God almighty. Well, welcome in on a Wednesday. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Um, <laughs> it's, I, God, Roberto, it's just, all right, I, I'll leave it alone. I, I just. You got a sex addiction? You got a problem with yeah, sex? Wow. sex you, have, you addicted to sex? A sex addiction or something? <laughs> what is what is wrong with him? By the way, did you enjoy your, your day off you didn't tell anybody about yesterday? Oh, I didn't realize Kang became our video coordinator. Oh. I, I already had several witnesses. Evan heard me talking about it. David, I know we talked about it Monday. I don't know. Yeah, oh! there you go. David turns into Sh uh, Sergeant Schultz. Benedict Arnold. No, Roberto, claimed, <laughs> Roberto claimed that he said it three times yesterday, which nobody, I never even Nobody heard. I know heard it. All right, all right. Let's, let's get into this. I, I want to start with a little bit of fun. I have a stat that I think is the most mind-blowing statistic in sports currently. Now, I'm not going to turn this to the listeners. I, I don't want to go that route. I want to talk to you guys. Listeners will have their own guesses. But it relates to something I wanted to discuss today. But, for instance, if, if I just go Sully, what is the most amazing stat you heard this week in the world of sports? What would it be? You want me to give you a hint of what it's not? I had something that came to the top of my head. but Let sure. me know. Let me hear it. Go ahead. The most amazing stat, I think, was that tonight's Nuggets game is, the what, the second time in NBA history that it's going to be a play-in game to end the season? Well, I'm glad you brought it up. That's not it. But we do have the entire matrix for the evening because the Western Conference playoff chase is like nothing we've ever seen from the number three spot to the number nine spot separated by two games. It's absolute mayhem. But that's not it. David, if I were to venture a, a guess, if you were to venture a guess, rather, the most amazing stat you've heard this week. Uh, something about uh, the Tigers in the DH era losing games one to nothing back to back or something like that. Interesting, but not what I had in mind. Hmm. But you're closer. Now, I'd ask Roberto, but I know I would get absolutely nothing of value back. Mike, do you want to take one more guess? The most amazing stat you've heard this week. Suck up dick! That is not something it. Something about Otani then, right? Ah. Got to be. The guy's been crazy. I have something for you. <laughs> this is news you can use. How does Otani relate to our Tigers? Otani has 19 at-bats. 19. This has nothing to do with his pitching. 19 at-bats. He has three home runs. Okay, 19 at-bats, three home runs. Your Tigers, as a team, have 348 at-bats and two home runs. <laughs> that is a, oh, it is so cold in the D. 19 at-bats, three bombs. 348, two. I just looked that up about the Tigers earlier today, actually, because I thought it was one. Because I thought Nico, <laughs> I forgot about Miguel Cabrera's home run. Oh, man. <laughs> I never in my life heard something like that. I mean, like, I don't even, like, what's the deepest into a season that a single player could out-homer a team? Maybe it's been done. Like, okay, like, what was it in, um... The summer of 98 when Sosa and Maguire were going at it, right? When it was like May or June, and, and, and I think Sosa said 20 home runs in a month, right? It's possible in that time span. It is. But what is the deepest into a season one guy has outpaced a team? Now, mind you, this is more about the Tigers' futility. 
than it is Otani. Otani's got three home runs. It's not like he opened the season up and hit seven, and we're you know we're gawking over it and going, oh my god, we're a week in. I mean, it's April 11th. The Tigers as a team, 348 at bats, two homers. Otani, 19 and three. I thought it was the most amazing stat I heard this week. I am I am surprised, by the way. You guys had a layup and you passed it up. The yeah. other stat that I thought you would have gone after. You really huh. don't you don't have it even as an auxiliary guess? Otani related as well? No. Mm -mm. Big time sport. It has to do with tonight. No? But only, mine was about the T-Wolves and Nuggets. That was the only thing that came to it mind. It was the stat about Russell Westbrook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Needing 16 rebounds tonight to once again average a triple-double for a season. Yeah. I you thought know that he's was going to be trying to get it. Well, they're also playing the Grizzlies, who will miss 800 shots. I do think you will see Russ's teammates aware and maybe – wall somebody off, make sure, you know, Russ gets a couple of loose balls. I, I think he'll get 16 tonight, don't you? Yeah, because he's the most ultra-competitive guy probably in sports right now. Well, and he's he's going to want to get it. Look, can we be fair? He's he's a me player. He's going to Yeah, I think, oh, oh Stephen Adams, he's going to lose a fingernail tonight. There's no question. But, Mike, if you could, or maybe put it to the people, what is the longest – or, or the, the latest in a season that a player has out-homered an entire baseball team? Not his own, but another. I just, I, I don't know. Maybe the people could help. Maybe it's not a big deal. I'd love to find that stat. But the idea that Otani has more home runs than the Tigers is one thing. The fact he's only got 19 at-bats and done it is another. It's more about the Tigers having 350 at-bats and two homers. That's incredible. Now, I know the weather hasn't been great. I know they've had some games canceled. But remember, the cancellations don't count towards the at-bats. How long do you think Otani could, could outpace your team? I mean, obviously, if the Tigers have one three-home run game, it throws the whole thing off. But I got news for you. You're probably not going deep tonight. Well, there's a reason why Tigers aren't hitting many home runs. The ball does not fly when it's 30 degrees. <laughs> I was reading an article, too, how Bryce Harper has more home runs than a few teams as well. Yeah, but see, the difference is Harper's on fire. Right. He opened the season with a flurry. Otani's not even a full-time offensive player, and he's only got three in very limited at-bats. It's about your team having 300. Now, tonight, you're going to play in Cleveland cold, and Carrasco's on him out. You're probably not going deep. You're going to grab yourself, what, another 35 at-bats tonight? I mean, they could beat a better part of 400 ABs deep, two home runs. Do the math on that. That's brutal. Now, I, you know, do I think their offense is going to be good this year? No, I think it's going to be terrible. How many, or how about this? Work with me. How many guys on this Tiger lineup can get to 20? Oh. Oh my. I, I just work with me. How many do you think can get to 20? And let's assume good health. Okay? Don't worry about injuries. Just pretend everybody gets an average of 550 ABs. How many get to 20? Two or three. Who? It's, I'd, put, I'd say Cabrera, obviously. Okay, one. Um, I don't know. You want to put Castellanos in there? You want to put Candelario this, in there? This isn't about this isn't about me. It's about you. I'd I'd say two or three. With the, I, I mean, those would okay. be the three guys that would come up. How many guys get to fifteen? Four or five. You sure about that? No, I I, I think this team's terrible. <laughs> but. <laughs> But if I if I had to statistically say right, but I'm the mean one, right? Oh, I love it. Mike, you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I think this team sucks. <laughs> we, but keep an eye on it. I just if you well, can turn it to the people. Maybe they've got the answer. Maybe the stat isn't as fun as I thought it was. But yeah, Otani three home runs and 19 abs. The Tigers two and 348. He's been incredible. I mean, compared to Babe Ruth, to Ken Griffey, to everybody. Well, it's about time. You know, the Angels have now the two best players in baseball. It's about time we're at least talking about one of them. Like I told you, Mike Trout could walk down the street. Nobody knows who he is.
And he's the best damn baseball player I've ever seen. There was a comparison I saw. It said he's a hybrid between Chris Bryant and Clayton Kershaw, which is just crazy. Uh, wait, it's now, hold on, hold on. Here, here's my one thing with Otani. We, we need to slow down on the whole, well, first guy to hit a home run and pitch and Babe Ruth. All right, calm down. I still believe that the longer this goes on, his pitching and not his offense will become what he hangs his hat on. But it sure as hell is fun while this is happening, right? I think we can all agree on that. Baseball needs Otani. I'm I'm all in on it. I think it's unbelievable. I mean, I know we should all be thankful for Nico Goodrum, but, uh, you know. Did you watch that game last night? Some of it. No, but he's, he's one of the two players with home runs this year, as we've been saying. Mike, Mike, I got to be honest. I don't know that Mario and Gibby are going to make it through this year. Oh. It's tough. To, it's a tough watch. Mario and Gibby sounded so defeated last night. It was, they were blaming the strike zone. They're, they're already on the strike zone on April 11th. Mm. <laughs> April in the D. Oh, dude, I feel bad. Mario and Gibby, they were wearing the sad faces last night. I don't think tonight's going to get any better. Carrasco versus Zimmerman. Yikes. Sign up to be an O'Reilly Auto Parts O Rewards member today. Earn one point for every dollar. 